I'll be traveling this weekend. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. But how long will you be there? Just a week. A week is too long for me. So I'm gonna be here all alone for one week in boredom. Dear, I'm gonna miss you, but I just have to make this business trip. Don't worry. I'm gonna get you lots of interesting movies that will keep you busy. Oh, I really appreciate that. But I think I will need more of culinary books and magazines. You know the cooking competition is fast approaching, so I need to prepare well for that competition. Wow, that's true. Please remind me of this tomorrow afternoon, so that immediately I close from work, I will go to the bookshop and get the culinary books for you. Alright, thank you so much, Caleb. You've been very supportive of my career. I wish I had known you earlier. God will bless you for all your kindness. Amen, and bless you too, my dear. So, Charity, you said you were once married, isn't it? Yes, but we are not together anymore. Okay, you are a divorcee. We haven't divorced yet. We just separated. Right now, he is already living with another woman. Are you serious? Hmm. Okay. So, if we start dating now, hope you will agree to move in with me. For now, I can't say. But I will think about that and I will give you a response later. All right. I believe your friend already told you. I am a married man with three wives. My first wife is in the village. The second one is abroad with her children. And the last one is in this same state, but not living with me. I am a chief in my village and I am entitled to many wives as I wish. I am also a banker by profession, a bank manager to be precise. Okay, good to hear this. You have a nice personality and I respect your openness. Thanks, sweetie. So you said you need 100,000 Naira to support your business. Yes, sir. I actually want to change business because the business I am doing now is really stressful. It wears me out daily. Hey, yeah, uh, don't worry. I will see what I can do on that. Hopefully, by next week, you will get my message. Okay, sir. Thanks for your concern. You are welcome, my darling. Can you give me some of that, your charming smiles? Why do you always like tickling my fancy? That's because someone is obsessed. Caleb, can you stop all this? How can you abandon your wife to be with another woman? Caleb, you call yourself a Christian, but you are not exuding the Christian life. Caleb, leave that woman and go back to your wife. Gabriel, point of correction. I haven't abandoned charity. I am only giving her space for now. I still go back home to be with them. And I also make sure I give her money every week for the upkeep of the children. I have chosen not to be under the same roof with charity lately because I really want to have peace of mind and concentrate properly on my job. Her troubles sometimes haunt me to the extent I won't be able to concentrate at work. Gabriel, every man wants where he will have peace of mind. Caleb, that is not a plausible excuse for you to be living with another woman who is not your wife. You have been accused of adultery already. Your actions now might prove their accusations right. And you are also risking your integrity as a Christian. A goat can never be with a yam without eating it one day. Caleb, don't create more problems for yourself. Go back to your wife. So baby, what's up with your cousin? The one that promised you one million naira. Is he back? No, he isn't back. But I spoke with him some days ago and he told me his flight would be this month's end. So we all are expecting him this month's end. Okay, that's fine. There's this container I want to ship in next week. It's worth 50 million. Wow, 50 million? Are all the goods for you? Of course, they are all mine. It's coming from Hong Kong. I'm just running Helter Skater now because I will be needing like 3 million naira to run that container when it lands. I literally use all my savings to ship in that container. 
Aww, and you really need to clear that container once it arrives. So how are you going to do it now? I'm thinking of getting a loan from a bank. So have you applied for the loan? Not yet. Still contemplating about that. I want to see if I can borrow from a friend first. If I couldn't, I would then go to the bank. All right, I pray God grants you favor in all your endeavors. Amen. Thanks, baby. That's why I want to make you my wife. You're a very good prayer warrior. <laughs> Please don't make me laugh, Charles. The man is a very nice man. He gave me 10,000 naira for my transport yesterday. Wow, a whole 10k just for transport. Hmm, Charity, didn't I tell you that that man is thinkingly rich? Babe, we don't see MAGA. So what is he saying about the 100k? He said he will get back to me on that. Though he kind of said something like, I will get a message from him on that next week. What? Next week? Babe, we don't blow. Baby, give me high five. In fact, chop knuckles, Jare. I believe me, Joe. Money will you never see. You will rejoice like this. I will hold my peace until I get the alert. Babe, this money we go share and 50-50. Why? Am I not the one that will date him? Which kind of nonsense talk be that? How did you know him? Am I not the one that connected the both of you? You have to settle me as a middle man, Joe. Okay, you take 60 while I take 40. Okay. Cynthia, you do like money. Shut up, now you will not like money. See her big head. Crazy girl. So MD, how far now? Have you started processing the loan? Yeah. They already came to inspect some of my properties. Wow. Okay. So what's the next step? I have to submit some required documents, which I'm yet to do. Andy, please be fast about this. You know the month of December is just a few weeks from now. We have to buy those vehicles as soon as possible. Have you seen a car dealer that has your BMW brand? MD, that will not be a problem. Once you have cash at hand, we will purchase those vehicles sharp sharp. Eh? Guy, how about that one million naira that you want to collect from your babe? I won't call it, or I won't scam her. Don't know how to run that Mugu street. She said her brother will be returning this month end. Hopefully by next month, I will brainwash her and collect the money from her. Charlie, are you sure you will make heaven? Now you know. <laughs>